Alrighty, I think we're up and ready, so... Hello everybody and welcome to Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. My name is Revenant Wings and oh god, I hope this works. <laughs> I was having a little tiny bit of trouble getting this to work right um, earlier today. As a matter of fact, it froze on me. <laughs> I think I was just letting it sit for too long, so hopefully I will not be sitting here long enough to make that happen. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and enter a name and then I will let the opening cutscene roll. Actually, you know what? To distinguish this from one of my other profiles. There we go. And I'll let the intro roll. Oh, uh, you're going to be seeing a variant of this screen a lot. This is the BS2 version, unfortunately, which means the load times are fairly long, usually between 30 and 45 seconds. Um, if I was playing the Xbox version, it would, or the Greatest Hits version, that would be cut down to about 10. Unfortunately, I have neither of those. Um, I bought this game shortly after it came out, so it's just been here. And I do very much enjoy it. It's something of a dark horse, and I'll go into reasons why people don't like it, um, after the cutscene. Cells. Fools! Nincompoops! Can't you idiots do anything right? According to this, your track record for spreading evil is pathetic! Ooka ooka, it's not our fault that Richard Bandicoot is to blame! I will not let anything stand in the way of evil, especially not a brainless orange marsupial! Crash must be eliminated! Ah. Uh. Ooka Ooka, need I remind you that Crash always finds a way to defeat us? Maybe he's just too good for us. Enough excuses! You five idiots need to come up with one good plan! Or else... How do I get into these situations? Ugh. There must be something we can come up with. Say, Doctor... Haven't you been tinkering with some kind of new secret weapon in your laboratory? I don't know what you're talking about, Entropy. Dr. Cortex! I think he's referring to this super secret weapon you've been laboring over day and night since the last time Crash defeated you. Enough bickering! Do we have a plan? Well, in my scientific endeavors, I've been able to create a genetically advanced super weapon of unbelievable strength. But the power source is the final missing crucial element. Elements. Elements. Yes! The elementals! Right! The elementals, that's it! If released, their destructive energy could create enough power to bring my secret weapon to life. We have a weapon capable of crushing mountains, demolishing entire cities! and waving Crash Bandicoot off the face of the Earth forever! Get ready to face my wrath, Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> Go, Crash! Yeah! Crash, you're doing great! Happening. No, it cannot be. Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, no. Crash, look out. Is everyone all right? It appears that my evil twin brother Uka Uka is up to his no good tricks again. I must find out what he is planning. I'll meet up with you later. Hello, my evil brother. You have 
gotten my attention, Uka Uka. What kind of diabolical scheme do you and Dr. Cortex have planned this time? No scheme. Just some old familiar faces dropping by for a visit. <laughs> no, not the elementals. Uka Uka, why did you release them? Don't you know what happened the last time they were free? So they were responsible for a few earthquakes, floods, and that little ice age a couple of centuries back. You worry too much, brother. You cannot restrain them, Uka Uka. They are far too dangerous. This could spell disaster for us all. <laughs> On the contrary, Aku Aku. Spells disaster for you and that precious planet you care so much about. Destroy him! You won't get away with this. <laughs> Who's going to stop us? Crash, Coco. It is just as I feared. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have freed a group of destructive masks known as the Elementals. We must find a way to stop them before they destroy the Earth and all of its inhabitants. The only way to stop the Elemental's destructive nature is to imprison them with the use of ancient crystals. Each Elemental can be returned back to their hibernation state with a total of five crystals. We must act quickly. Coco, what is the status of the new portal chamber you've been working on? It's almost finished. A few little adjustments here and there, and it'll be ready to go. Well done, Coco. This gives us the ideal opportunity to test it. We must hurry. While the loading screen is going on, you'll see a little bit of the complaint people have with this game. There's some pretty shitty production values in one or two of those areas. I promise the in-level stuff is going to be a lot cleaner, and it's going to be a lot nicer looking. But, yeah, there was one part that looked like it might have been made in Blender. Uh, one part that looked like it had almost a crayon background uh, in the house. If you were looking out at the trees, it looked almost to me like half crayon. Um, sound mixing isn't entirely great. Um, I don't know how well the sound will have come through for that sequence. Uh, mostly because, yeah, even if I was to have them... Whoop. Crash Bandicoot, my old nemesis. How the heck are you? Still gathering crystals? Old habits die hard, don't they? My days are being spent on something much more intriguing. Meet Crunch, my newest creation. This is the creature who keeps sabotaging your master plan? Ha! <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I'll exterminate this field rat in no time. Now, Crunch, your time with Crash will come soon enough. Isn't he brilliant? A testament to my true scientific genius. A real bandicoot warrior. Unlike you, Crash. Oh well, we all make mistakes. Ta-ta for now. All right, so to continue what I was saying before, it's a little bit on the odd on the sound mixing side. I don't know if you were able to hear it, but the fire mask who was talking is pot is a uh, name is Pyro. We'll be encountering him later, but he's voiced by Mark Hamill. <laughs> so yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff that um, I don't know how well is gonna come through because there's just the sound mixing is kind of weird. Um, let me actually check my sound options here. Okay, this might help some of it. All right. So, the other com the other big problem that I'm going to go ahead and state out here is, if you take a look at this, it's very similar to the warp room from uh, Crash 3 Warped. 
So there's a lot of people who accuse this game of being a mission pack sequel, they call it. Uh, basically what that means is it doesn't really add anything particularly new. It just adds more levels. I admit there to being some truth in that. And there's also one other problem that I'm going to go into because as we, as I did for Warped, I'm going to do any level that's a gimmick level first because that one I can go ahead and do the relics right afterward without having to worry about speed shoes and time frames. So, I'm going to start with this one. It should be noted there are three gimmick levels in the first warp room. However, each one of them has a massively different environment. I think we got a- yep. What are you looking at, fuzzhead? I'm Rocco, the Earth Elemental. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex woke me from my captive slumber, and now I'm free to pulverize whatever gets in my way. Oh, don't even think about collecting those crystals, runt. Because if you do, I'm going to bury you alive. So, there are three, count them, three gimmick levels. And by gimmick level, I mean you are in a vehicle at some point during the level. It doesn't have to be the whole thing, but at some point, you're in a vehicle. And indeed, they do have some credit to that, that I believe when I looked at it last, it was like 55% of the game is based around gimmick levels. So they have something of a point with that, but... Doc, the generators, shoot them down! Looks like Neo's using them to make the tornado! Go. I figured out my controls. All right. Pretty standard, some of the uh, flying levels from last game did this too. Now that being said, all the stuff that I mentioned earlier, there's something that you're gonna really quickly notice and that is every single one of these levels has its own soundtrack. And indeed, I would place some of the soundtrack for Wrath of Cortex as among my favorite in the Crash series. In addition to the fact that every single gimmick level is fun. Like, this is no... First of all, it's in the first warp room, so of course this plane segment isn't going to be anywhere near as bad as the uh, ones in Warped could be. But yeah, I actually genuinely consider the gimmick levels at least kind of fun. And there's a whole lot of interesting ones in here. And again, this probably isn't the best one for a show of environment, but yes. Once we get to the other levels, there's a lot of environmental stuff that I think this game does very, very well. Whoop. Ran right into me there. Is that the last one? No, where's the last box? Where's the last box? There you are. There we are. Put down first so I can get the box gem. Ooh, he just about ran into me again. But, here's our first level down. But yes, I do, in all complete honesty, this is kind of my series dark horse. A lot of people like Twin Sanity. I'm not going to go too much into that. I'm okay with it. It's got a couple of points where the game can be really, 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 really like a dick. <laughs> but otherwise, it's okay. It works, but it's okay. At some point, I will play that, and I will go into depth about that. But for right now, I will say that for me, this is kind of like the dark horse of the series. It's going to be interesting, because it's been a very long time since I've played this. And I do rather enjoy this game. But let's see how that holds up after... Let's see. Eight years since I've played it? Because I do remember liking a lot of the music, and I do remember liking the fact that every single level will have its own individual theme, so you won't get as many... You'll get a couple of repeats, but in this game you won't actually get, like, um... In previous games, each level had, like, a template style. Ah, yes, we'll have to listen to this one more time. Like but yeah, Neo each level had, like, a template tornado. style that you would use, that they used for the for the game. This one does not. So, if there's a level in this, there are very, very few times where you'll find 
a thing that repeats. Okay, got a little of those. This usually isn't too bad for me to get a gold on. I'm not gonna try too hard if I don't get the gold. So like, I won't be retrying, 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 but I do want to get the relic to open up that final warp room. I should have gotten that box earlier. Time crate, gimme. I can't, I can't get it. Let's go forth. Hi. He ran right into me. Gimme. Time crate. Ooh, narrowly averted one there too. The last one. Boom, 5208. Should be pretty good. Ooh, even with all my futzing around, I still got a, plat a platinum. It's actually really easy to get platinums in this game. I will be my usual paranoid self probably a couple of times and be like, crap, I'm not going to make it. Crap, I'm not going to make it. Crap, I'm not going to make it. And then, then by the end of this, I'm going to get a gold of platinum at most of them. That's literally how this game goes. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so that's one level down. I will go ahead and do another gimmick level next. Um, there is one other thing, and I'll be able to show this off with the next gimmick level. Um, accepting vehicle levels like that one, like Tornado Alley that I just did, they're long in this one. They're really long. So let's see. Bamboozled. Perfect. This is the other major gimmick level that I can do here without having to worry about, uh, speed shoes for the relic. Uh, and this also introduces a rather heated version of the gimmick level. Hey, Goober Slut, how are you? All right, here we go. Yep. I am in a, I am in a ball. I am in a sphere and I cannot jump. I just have to follow the paths, not fall off. This does have some inertia to it, so it'll be problematic every once in a while when I just keep start going full tilt and then have to stop. Also, 126 boxes. This is already higher than uh, Warp's Bug Light, which was the marathon level in that game. And I believe one of these intro ones has one that's more than 150, which basically puts it on par with the marathon level of two, uh, Cold Hard Crash. But, I like these gimmick levels, actually. For example, bobsled track. <laughs> Whee! And more rolling. There we go. Oh, crap. What system is this on? This one is the PS2 one. Um, it also had a incarnation on the Xbox and the GameCube. Not an incarnation, it, it got ported to there. Oh great, there's a box up there and I... Oh! First death. Trying to maneuver my way around the nitros. Oh god. Uh, maybe this side will be easier? Yeah, that was way easier. Oh, there's none up there. I didn't need to do that. Oh great, totally meaningless death. Is it a remake? No. This one's just PS2. Uh, this is Wrath of Cortex. But yeah. Um, which was originally PS2, and then Xbox, it got ported over to... Not Xbox 360, just Xbox and GameCube at the time. Uh, they do have some benefits to playing it on those other versions, which is namely the loading times are decreased. And I believe some of the background elements are, uh, I didn't know PS2 was in widescreen. That may also be the, uh, that may also be the way I've set it up on my, uh, OBS. I've kind of extended my, uh, my thing out. I think some PS2 games are widescreen, but I also think in some of them I've, uh, 
stretch the gameplay window a little tiny bit so it fits. Alright. These, I can't just roll straight through here. There we go. What? Yeah, that's the one problem. If I keep rolling fast enough, I will miss boxes, so I have to occasionally take this slow. Not too often, though. It's more just like a, uh... In some cases, it's just a check of speed. With me. Now, there's another path that I can use down this way, but it's entirely chock full of nitro. And in going for the gem, I want the nitro. So... Now I missed it again. There we go. Got these. Cross this kind of bridge here. So there's the buzz of the exit portal, but there we go. Oh, got most of them. And get our gem. There we go. All right, two levels down. All right, I'll be needing to go back in for that relic, and then I'll move on to the other ones, and then we'll just one at a time till the end of the warp room. Because the, the other gimmick level is a minecart, which I love and think is fantastic. <laughs> if only because I'm a sucker for roller coaster type stuff. <laughs> so the minecart section to me is very fun, but it only is about a third of the level, so I, it's not the full. So I can't go in there and immediately do the relic afterwards. So, back in. 1.15 is our sapphire time. If I'm lucky, I could get gold. Oh, are we gonna get another? Yep. You want a piece of me, Bandicoot? Huh? Huh? Do ya? Huh? Wuss. Yeah, unfortunately, the, uh, the Mark Hamill one we won't meet for a while. He's not until third warp room. And, uh, should be noted, takes a lot of cues from the Joker, and while it took a lot of cues from the Joker, I will also admit that I totally did not know it was Mark Hamill until, oh, how long was it? I think it was three years ago that I found it out? I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> Ah, I'm gonna roll myself. Oh no. Oh god, this time trial is already out to bad start. <laughs> Alright, let's see how. Let's hope I can roll my way through this without flying off the edge. I can't jump, so there will be no way to save myself if I roll off the edge. Okay. Great. There we go. Doing okay so far. I believe there's a couple of three crates at the top of here. I want to grab them. Oh, yes. They were all time crates. All right, cool. I think we're already onto this part fairly decently. Okay, now I gotta go slow, because yes, there were two crates right there. And down here. Got that. Oh, I missed a time crate, but I'm not going back for it. Cannot go back for it, not in the here. All right. Wait for this. That clicking sound is from the game or your controller? That is from the game. Uh, every single time I hit one of the time crates, it will stop for that amount of time. So they will have like two, one, or three on them. That was the game just stopping for a second and then it will tick while it's frozen. What the heck level is that? Is that Sapphire? I got 36 seconds and it was Sapphire? But yes, the ticking sound is the game. So whenever the clock turned blue and it froze for a little bit, that was the ticking of the uh, 
the time crate that I activated. Hey, who's a, who's a, how are you? And thank you for stopping by. But yeah, so whenever you get, that's only during the time trials though, so. I wanna see what time that was, cause that seemed like I did really, really fast and it, I think it only gave me a sapphire? Oh my god! I was two seconds off the gold! Oh. I'm gonna have to come back for that one at some point, but not right now. Maybe off screen I'll go and get the gold for that one, because that's. Otherwise, that's gonna be. A <laughs> truly bamboozled, very much so. That's gonna be one of those that will just like piss me off and then will result in an hour of me just being like, Urgh, that's not it! Urgh, that's not it! Urgh, that's not it! <laughs> I can't do that. As funny as that might be, I get, I think people might get irritated after a while of seeing that. So we'll move on to uh, Arcticantix, the actual first level of the game. Well, the one that's designated one. Alrighty. Nice peaceful snowscape. Although that being said, my favorite two are going to be the final two of the warp room, so... Unfortunately, kind of get in the middling... Well, not middling, but... I love level 4 and 5. I keep being in the same streams. <laughs> yeah, what, Misfit and Lycanthro this weekend? Lycanthakeiths? Okay, can't... There we go. Get around the narwhal. There we go. Keith in so oh yeah, Insomniosis is stream. <laughs> and um, yes. You can't escape me. There we go. I probably could have just let that go, but the sooner I get to 99, the more comfortable I am. And in this one, these levels can be a bitch later. Warp's got some bad ones, and two's got Cold Hard Crash, and a couple of them in the fifth warp room, but this one actually turns into something of a bitch with difficulty later on. There we go. Yes, the belly flop is an immediate in this one. Uh, as a matter of fact, instead of the belly flop, we will be getting a new ability as our reward for the... Whoa, I almost got hit by that. Instead of the belly flop, we will be getting a new ability from the first boss. As a matter of fact, one that I believe was introduced in this game and has never been used since. Which is the same, because it's an underused mechanic. I am going to go along here just a little tiny bit. Is the fourth one of the Crash games? Yes. Well... Fourth of the mainline series, but there's also uh, there's also Crash Team Racing, which would put, which I believe that is the official fourth. Uh, if you're going simply by release, um, and then in between there was also Crash Bash on the PS1, but yes, otherwise this is, uh, otherwise yes, fourth fourth in the mainline series. What kind of an animal is Crash? I believe he's been officially noted as an Eastern Bard Bandicoot. Right. I went ahead and hit the Nitro crate here, and now there is no Nitro. There's also no way to get out from this way, so... The Narble just disappeared. Like, it jumped up and then vanished. But yeah, I believe the official thing is that he's an Eastern Bard. Oh wait, actually, can I get out this way? I might be able to. 
Are you playing on an emulator or is this off an actual PSX? This is actually PS2. Okay, so I actually could get it over to the exit if I wanted to. Normally there'd be a bunch of boxes there that you'd have to jump through, but slide jump covers it. I don't want to do that way. There we go. Also, this cuts down to load time. <laughs> Carefully navigate over this way. Hard path is on the other side. And a bonus round is here. But yeah, this is off a of, this is straight off the PS2. Um I should think about getting an emulator up and running on my computer. But I'm also tend to be very nervous of sites that download them. Last time I tried to download one off of, off of a odd site, it uh, it gave my computer a virus. So yeah, I'm a little, I'm always a little concerned. I think the last time I had an emulator, my friend literally was like, "Here," I'm like, "Okay, this helps." But yeah, especially as the PS2 is getting older, getting on in years, I should consider an emulator. Ugh. On the ice water, thankfully did not die, but... Yeah, especially considering I have like a ton of PS2 games I would like to play, and only some of them now have been transferred over to the uh, PS4 online store. There we go. All gems from level one. I remember just using SNEX9 a lot back when and MAME. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you, Goober Slut. I will be using that shortly. Let me actually go ahead and... There we go. Yeah, because I... Yeah, with the PSX emulator, I tried getting it from someplace, and the friend directed me to a site that he said worked fine for him, and then I ended up crashing my computer with a virus. So then he had to be like, eh, all right, here you go. I'll send it to you via email. So now I, ha I do have a PS1 emulator, but I think PSX thing... You want a streamer or just stock all of them like I do? <laughs> that would be interesting. I'd be, I'd be down for more streams to watch. Lord knows I do nothing lately with quarantine. <laughs> just stock. I don't even have a microphone unless you count the one of my earphones. Yeah, that's that's always a trouble one. I used to have a uh, headset microphone, and it would, like, peak easy, and... Oh, dear. It would peak easy. There was so much static in the dang thing. I hated it. It would not have worked for streaming. If you don't own a PC at the moment, my personal laptop dies, so now I just use Work Chromebook to watch Twitch. All right. Get the wizard. Get out of here. Ah! The projectile stays longer. Oh yes, this is one of the favorite levels. I do like this level a lot. I'm going to turn down... Oh no, that's actually pretty decent. I'm gonna go ahead anyways. There we go. Alrighty. Bonus round and then a chase sequence. Hey XH, I dig the stained glass windows and the wacky music. Yeah, I think this is probably one of my favorite level musics. Uh, there's a couple of variants on this that'll, that I think sound better, but yeah. The castle levels tend to be one of my favorite types. Got this. <laughs> and straight into the nitro. I thought I jumped at the right time. 
Ah, yes, another Wampa for the fountain. <laughs> Later games kind of fixed that, and I think early games did that too, where they just shrink to zero immediately. But uh, this game gets the Wumpa Fountain, so if you if you die in a bonus round, you have to sit there and wait until every single one of them just falls out. And considering I'm already back at 54, that can take a while. And so <laughs> There we go. My nose was, like, stuck inside the thing. So y'all can think I'm weird, but I never played a kind of grass. You know, it's one of my favorite series, but I will also completely admit that I am looking at it through rose-colored glasses. Goob and I are sworn to spread our snark and previous amongst all. <laughs> okay, hopefully third time is the charm. I can't believe it's taking me this long on the fourth level's bonus. <laughs> they get pretty devious about nitro crate positions in this one. But yes, like... The Crash game... I will say... Honestly, I don't find somebody not playing a Crash game as weird as I do with, like, Sonic. Sonic or Mar Are you serious? <laughs> I forgot that could happen. I forgot it could crush me. Hey, Doan! Nice to see you in here, too. Wow, I'm getting a lot of new people in here. Okay, maybe fourth time is the charm. Maybe I will remember this time that these stupid box can come down and crush me. <laughs> In midair. <laughs> ah! <laughs> wow. <laughs> what is it with this level's bonus round that just... I'm terrible with it today. <laughs> Slow and steady. Can't go flying through it. But yeah, going back to earlier, like... It, I'm less like... I get it if somebody hasn't played the Crash game, if, I'll, if mostly because that's system exclusive. For some reason, for me, it's like, if you haven't played a Mario game or a Sonic game, then I'm just kind of like, wait. Those are like series stand... Those are like gaming standbys, and you haven't played one of those? There we go. Oh, finally. And then the nitros will just get. I finally remember the first crash a lot when it was released. Many rentals running at the screen and dying a lot. <laughs> All right. I haven't completed a Sonic game. I think I played the first few levels. Yeah, complete. You don't have to complete it. It's that because like I've never completed a Sonic game, but I think I don't like the physics in Sonic games. They irritate me. Also, look at this guy. He's so goofy, and I love him. This massive dragon chasing me. I don't think I can get killed by him biting, but I'm not going to risk it. But yeah, he's just... He's goofy. Also, there's a funny... Funny moment at the end of this thing that I love. I think he can break some boxes for me. I do like to hit them myself, just to make sure that I know they've been hit. Oop. All right, one more section. This one's littered with nitro. Ooh, a life. There we go. <laughs> that being said, still gives more. Here we are. Supposedly he's mad because he can't keep chasing me, but uh, I can just hide right here and let him roar. Doesn't even know he's, that I'm here. Sonic CD and Sonic 3 spoiled me to where I couldn't play the older games or the newer ones. Sonic Mania scratched that decent 2D game Sonic-ish. Uh, I will admit, I'm not a huge fan of the Sonic series, but Mania actually is really good. Uh, Mania and 3D Blast are like the only two Sonic games right now I can stand. Uh, personally playing. Anybody, uh, any other games, I have to watch somebody play it. 
Oh, I can do the hard path. I hope I don't need the double jump for this one. I don't think I do. Okay, trap doors. We'll see more of those in the gauntlet later. Whoop. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, almost got hit by the axe. Whoop. Yeah, this is level four. This hard path is already a bitch. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, you would have pushed me back into the pit. Ooh, got the green gem already. And because I don't like going out here. It's one of the 10 people who had a Sega CD and I'm the only one of the 10 who will defend it. Hey, you know what? Props to you. <laughs> I forget what was on the CD though. That was like one of the few systems that came, that was one of the systems that came out before, almost before I think I existed. I'm 92, I didn't keep up on gaming all that much until uh, Saturn, really. No less than five of your favorite games are on it, wow. not get smacked by the nitro this time. Okay, no box right above me. And I can't get that one, so yes, I do. You out of the way. Oh, this level does have a really, really broken time trial. I might try and do that. Let me see if I can figure out how to do it still. Like, seriously, this time trial is broken to shit. Let's see here. Where are you? Yeah, the way. So. Oh, that's it. Okay. That's actually really easy. All right. Time to break Wizards and Lizards time trial. So three gems and a speed run onk thing? Uh, no. Uh, oh, I'm gonna shoot one of them is a crystal, which I need oh, to actually baby. progress in the game. But the other two gems are completely optional, but I like getting them because I can do 100% pretty easily on this one. Uh, technically, I believe in this game it's 106. But yes, now I'm about to thoroughly break the time trial for Wizards and Lizards. Yeah, the the most any the most any level can have is a crystal, a relic, which is the speedrun Ankh, and two gems. Most of them will usually only have one, but there's quite a few that will also pull in the second gem. Uh, crystal is needed to complete the game, at least to the penultimate boss, basically. All right. I'm going to go ahead and hit that clock, and then as soon as I hit that clock, I'm going to press select. And... Wah! <laughs> oh, God, I actually... <laughs> I hit the stupid nitro at the end, but yes. This is the only level this can be done. Oh, come on! One more time. Hopefully I can get it this time. Okay, good. I still did it. Oh, come on, I keep going too far left. Oh, come on. <laughs> that is the only problem with trying to break this time trial. It lands me in a very bad position. There we go. Five seconds.
That is the only time trial in the entire game that allows you to do that. I think it's supposed to be a debug feature, but... Yeah, I think it was... I read it was supposed to be a debug feature, but they just left it in. But that is the only level where you can just absolutely break the time trial and never have to do any of it. I think if I was going through with the, uh... With the speed shoes, I can usually hit about 40 seconds on the timer. But, yeah, that is just... It's so ridiculously broken, it's hilarious. Alright, on to five. Which actually begins a trend that I like in this game. Um, in previous games, they just kind of had the levels arranged by difficulty. In this game, they actually make it where the final level is themed after the boss of that area. So, this guy is the Earth Elemental, so now we have an Earth Elemental themed stage. Also, all of them are going to be reactors. Reactor type levels, but they're again, they're going to be modified for based on who it is. So that's another thing I think that's interesting. Each boss gets its own individual uh, last level. Which I really honestly like that feeling of being like, yeah, now I'm going to storm the base of this elemental sort of thing. And this is the minecart. Thankfully not too bad. There is a yellow gem path that I need to come back for. But, not too difficult either. Just gonna put left and right sway back and forth so I don't hit the nitros. Nitro hidden around there around the corner, so I couldn't see it until the last second, but otherwise not too big of an issue. And at 39 boxes, we are on track for the level. These guys start to get the real pain in the asses because they'll put throw it in just the right way. These guys I can go around. that. Just imagine everyone on Earth who... <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, that was almost bad. Right in the way of their goo balls. Oh wait, this is the life right here. I want the life. Ah! <laughs> I blew myself up trying to get it. I actually think in these games the lives respawn, but I don't remember. Woo! That was a little closer than I would have liked, but... <laughs> Can't show off. I will get. I will hurt myself eventually. Which is being kind of wonky. Uses to refresh every so often. I don't know why that's happening. It keeps doing that for me. Are you talking about the feed or about the uh, the game itself? I mean the chat or the game itself. Because chat, that is me having problems. I don't know why. It's mostly stable, but yeah. It occasionally does not like me. Give me those warm fruits. Don't slide past them. Oh, come on. Yeah, the video. I've got... 1600 drop frames, but it's not actually like Yeah, it hasn't triggered my warning yet because it's It's only 1.5% of It's only 1.5% of frames dropped so I Wish I could figure that out, but I think it's just me Having not the best internet I've tried to convince people to actually upgrade our internet around here, but they do not want to. 
Oh, no. Fell into the hole because I was too busy looking at the screen, which is actually a slight second delay at the computer screen. All right, there we go. Grab those. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You actually recover back to normal, so the next jump after a crouch is a uh, standard thing. There we go. Hyper speed through some of these portions, because I don't want to sit here all day. Nope, get around there. Now this is actually where the tiptoe would come in useful if I had it. Those two nitro crates are not bouncing. If a bouncing nitro crate, if a nitro crate is bouncing, you can't tiptoe over it. If it's completely stock still like that, uh, you can actually use the tiptoe and walk over them safely. So like these nitro crates are bouncing. I can't tiptoe over them. Also because they were sitting like a block above the other crates, but there we go. Had a huge frame drop again. What the hell? I don't know why this does not like me for some reason. Also, I must state there is something aesthetically pleasing about the eight and nine in this in this game. It's just one of the random things I just keep noticing about this game. Like, I don't know why the font for the eight and the nine is actually somewhat aesthetically pleasing to me. There we go. Hit the TNT, it'll blow up the nitro, and in turn blow up the exclamation point. Two free lives. Get the crystal before I completely roll by it. Getting that crate. Come on. Get down, you pressure thing. Okay. One, two, three. Five, two, three, four, five. Purple one is room one required for possession. Yes. There we go. Not too much further to go on this level. And we'll face our first boss. Have this, and there we go. So yeah, I'll have missed one on this. I'll have missed one gem for right now on this one because I needed another gem from another level to open it. Uh, there are special colored gems that have that will open up special paths, but I need to have the gem in order to be on that path. So there will be one gem missing from this one because I can't get it yet. Guy just standing in the hall spurting as no shame. <laughs> All right, yeah, we are completely blocked off from the levels. Time for our first boss. Now, bosses in this game are generally... Actually, wait, there might be a cutscene here. There we are. Well, well, looks like the Bandicoot's been busy collecting crystals. I warned you, Bandicoot. Finally. I get to wrap my fingers around your puny orange neck. Okay, just to point out a dynamic that seems funny to me. Crunch is legitimately threatening. The rock elemental mask sounded like the bully from a 90s teen movie. <laughs> Lag between messages and chat and showing up in video is huge. Oh dear. I think that's a. I don't know what that is. I need to. 
There are some things I need to look into that I just have not seen because there hasn't been a ton of people in chat. All right. So, yes. Essentially, the boss for this one functions like this. I have to hit these rocks, and I have to make them glow my color <laughs> without getting hit by him. There we go. Hit all the rocks. I do some damage to him. If he hit the rocks, he gets super powered, and I have to just wait until he goes and stops being whoa. But yeah, essentially the way most bosses in this will go is Crunch will. Oh, dearie me! I got hit by a rock that he hit. Oh no 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 no! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! No! Don't hit me! Where's the other one? There's it. There. Oh, there's a mini map up in the top right. I see it. Give me. Give me rock. Give me rock. There we go. I got two, but I need to get the third one quick. Oh, no. He hit. He hit mine. No. I, can, I can't hit his. I can't hit his. His is on fire. Give me the other rock. Give me the other rock. Give me the other. Oh, come on, you. There we are. Okay. Now I just got to wait for his, his red to go. Oh, no. He hit mine. Two. <laughs> Get the third. There we go. So say over over eight seconds. What? I was counting at least five seconds in edge twitch stream. Yeah. Three to five is pretty usual for me on like unstream or on anybody else's. All right, four. Four oxes. <laughs> that was close. I think hitting one of his a rock that he hit takes five. If he's powered up, he can take like 30 off of my percentage value there. <laughs> and I think him just like running into me. Oh, no, 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 no. None of the other ones are as bad. Oh, God dang it. He's got all of them on his side. Give me one at least. Thank you. No. Ah! There we go. Oh, no. He's hit another one. Ah, crap. Oh, no. Never mind. Okay. Rock. Give me. Thank you. One more. Oh, come on. Yeet. No, grab that rock. Two. No, you got. Ow. Okay, he hits me for five. Ow. No, I hit him again. Okay. One. Two, three, one more. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's, it's, ah, oh, 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 you, no. Ah, that did a lot of damage too. There we go. Is this the only boss with this gimmick? Yes, thank God. Um, the other ones all have different gimmicks, but yeah. Essentially what happens is Crunch pairs up with the elemental boss of the war the elemental mask of the warp room. And they fuse, they give Crunch some special power, and you have to figure out a way to get around that. Going to make a quick bowl of ramen back in a bit. Ramen well. But yeah, so uh thankfully. I don't have to do a damn thing with... I don't have to do another boss like that. The The rolling thing will come back once or twice, but thank God I don't have to do another, another level like that. Because my God, that is an... <laughs> 